Hello, it's Jimmy here O'Reilly. So just looking at a Vauxhall Safira here and I'll show you on this video how you can test um, DPF pressure sensors. So I'm inside the car here, I'm going to start it up. So this is what we're getting there, flashing symbol from the exhaust and it's smoking sometimes excessively as it's trying to constantly regenerate. Okay, this car here, he's a taxi driver. Um, he's had it to a standard mechanic and apparently a DPF cleaner who has cleaned the DPF on the vehicle here but the problem has not gone away so we're gonna have a little look at what's going on I've already had a quick look so I, I know what's going on but I'm gonna show you on the video differential pressure area yeah? and the particle filter saturation this is just a calculation anyway so the main thing we're looking at there is the particle filter pressure so that's on zero. Now we're going to accelerate the vehicle up. You can see it's gone into negatives. So there's obviously something wrong with the pressure sensor or the hoses or there's a blockage. So that's it. It's basically as simple as that. We've got no reading on the particle filter differential pressure sensor. This one here is zero reading so it's only a simple case of there's no reading from the pressure so you need to figure out why is the sensor working is the plug working are the pipes burst or are the pipes blocked it's going to be one of those problems so it, it most likely doesn't need cleaning once we connect or fix whatever is wrong these should sort of come down maybe on their own if not we can just run like a regeneration to get it down but it's most likely doesn't need cleaning um, He's had it cleaned last week and it was a fail basically as soon as he drove it out of the garage the lights flashing again so this particular car here if we go up underneath the different fuel pressure sensor is up there we're going to disconnect the hose now i can feel there's no pressure coming from that So I'm going to use this tool here, it's a digital manometer and I'm going to connect that up here onto where the pressure sensor goes. You can see there the pressure's not moving. So we'll disconnect that. Now I'm going to use my Medivac pressure gauge to test that pipe. That up there. Let's see what pressure we're getting. Turn the light on. See if we're getting any pressure. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it steady. See there that we're getting pressure on that, which we shouldn't. Gonna disconnect that again. Just gonna take off this pipe. Let's see if we can get it all cleaned out. I'm going to use this uh, burner here just to get some heat on it. I'm going to burn out the soot.
I'm going to use some brake cleaner now to spray that out. And then we're just going to poke it through with a little stick here. You can see all of the crap that's coming out there, the burnt ash from the soot there. So you can see there before we weren't getting any fluid coming out the other end. Now that we've cleaned it out, if we put the brake cleaner there, you can see it's nice and free. Uh, now we connect friend. it back to the midi vac Sorry. and we look at the pressure now again. Nothing. And a squeeze and hold. Nothing there. So the pipe is now free. It's not blocked. Okay now we've got it connected back up. You can see there we're getting a reading. So that's going to be working perfectly now. Now we can connect back up the original pressure sensor. We just get the holes clip there back on. Just squeeze that together and pull her on. There we go. All right, let's get back in and read the live data. Now it's gone off obviously because the key was off. We'll go back in and read it again. Turn off that torch so it's not glaring on the screen. Differential pressure. So you can see there we're getting a reading on it. It's still pretty low. So I might take it off and uh, take off the holes and check the rubber holes as well. Make sure that's not blocked. So what I'm doing is I've got my midi vac again connected back to the holes and I'm holding 50 kPa of pressure on there with the gauge and that should match on the live data. 50 kPa there. So just there we're looking at. I'm going to release that pressure there. And then it should lower along with it. Back to zero. Got normal readings there now. Six kPa, which is about seventy millibars. Seven kPa, seventy millibars. Just going to run a regeneration anyway, um, because this, as this regens, this actually tests the pressure, and if the pressure is not good enough, it won't regen, um, or if it's not getting a proper reading. So now that that it is regenerating, we know that the pressure readings are working as they should. Now all of that's done, you can see there the engine's out on the way, lights have gone, no engine management lights on. You can accelerate the vehicle up. Pretty simple job really, as long as you know what you're doing. So that's it, pretty simple video there just explaining that and hope that helps. See you in the next video.